Hello, my name is Bill and welcome to Mind Your Crypto. Today we have Bitcoin update. We are going to see if we hold any danger and where are we going. Before we begin, do not forget to join the monthly subscription. You can cancel anytime you like and you will find the link in the description down below. Buy me a coffee slash Mind Your Crypto. You will get an automated system with buying and selling opportunities. You will know exactly when to buy and exactly when to sell your altcoins. But it doesn't stop there. You will also get a manual system with buying and selling opportunities, personal guidance, educational videos to become expert in the technical analysis and hold your future in your hands and many, many more benefits. And you can join, of course, the Telegram group chat. I have the link in the description down below as well. Hit the like button and subscribe if you like the content. Thank you so much for watching let's go in right now to the bitcoin this is a gun box this is what we call a gun box we can identify some major support and resistance levels but not only we can identify the time that maybe we are going to see a change and here you can see at the 0.75 we had a change and we crashed down so it was around 6 to 7 september next change might be around 1st to 2nd october okay so we are expecting maybe to have a change there this is not a financial advice but it is mostly like it might actually happen okay this is a probability so let's see right now some important things on the gun box first of all this is a one-to-one -one price to bar ratio gun box you can set it here on the settings on the coordinates okay so when you divide the first price to the second price, it must equals with when you divide the first bar to the second bar. Okay, so right now you can see that we found this GAN box, the one price to bar ratio GAN box, and now we have some lines. This is the GAN lines you can see here, and we will identify some very, very important lines right here. So what I will do is to zoom in and you will see that this line right here, let me color it from the 0.5 to here is our first major support line. Okay, because you can see we found multiple times a support level right here. The second one should be around the 0.618 from this diagonally 1 to the 0.618. So we have the next one, which is around here. Okay, so we have this resistance line as well. The next important thing and the next important line that we should be drawing is in case we go down from this yellow line. So I will use the trend line tool right here and we will start from the 0.618 and we will be getting up. So you can see that this is our next support line. Okay, this is our next support line in case we go down, in case we go down. So let's see if we have anything, anything other resistance level, any other resistance level we can see. I would draw the next one from the one here, this line down from the yellow line. So here we go. We use the, the, the trend line, sorry, and we connect all these lines right here. Okay, so we have some major lines we can play with for bitcoin okay so we are going to see now even if we are finding some resistance and of course we have the 0.382 the horizontal line which is a very crucial line okay you can see it was a support level the 44,000 tether usd around here so what i'm going to do is to delete the gap box so we found some major resistance and support levels it is very possible if we close above this yellow line to just have a little bit of a buying pressure here and the selling pressure and have a squeeze point. Okay, so we are going to see if eventually we are going to have a squeeze point around there in the next few days. Let's see now, let's draw another tool, the Fibonacci retracement, and I will use the same. Okay, I will draw my Fibonacci retracement starting from this bottom right here ending up to this top and you can see that we have the 0 0.382 the 44,000 tether usd and if we go there we might be going on 1st october okay 
So let's see if this will play out if we go there on 44,000 Tether USD on 1st October or not. In order to go there, we need to lose this support level. If we do not lose the next trend line, we are not going down to for the 44,000 Tether USD. So these are some strong trend lines that will tell us that we are going to have probably these as our next major resistance levels and support levels. In case we go above from these lines or down from these lines, then we are probably going even, even lower. Okay, but for now, we are holding these lines as well and we are finding resistance on these two, four lines. Okay, so right now we are going to see where we are actually going. I do believe on the daily frame that we have a little bit of non-risk. What I mean by that is if you look the RSI, you will see that it is between 30 and 70. Okay, and we do not hold any any high risk according to the RSI. Commodity channel index on the daily frame is about to go into an oversold situation, and that is good. On the other hand, we have the stochastic RSI that is about to go into an oversold situation as well. And here we have the Fisher transform, which is not in an oversold, not in an overbought situation. It stands between the minus two and of course the 1.50. I have explained why I have these settings on the Fisher transform. If you would like me to explain, please write in the comments. Okay, so right now, what do we have? We have this support line for Bitcoin, this one, and of course, we need to see whether on the daily frame we are holding this line or not. If we do not hold this line, we will probably go to the next line. Okay. And if we go fast to the next line, we might be losing the 44,000 Tether USD. For now, if we go to the four hour frame, these lines are for the daily frame. Okay. If we go to the four hour frame, we will see that we have a very, very strong oversold situation with the RSI going below the 30, stochastic RSI going below the 20, and of course, the Fisher transform going below the minus two. So we have a very, very strong oversold situation that is very, very good. And on the daily frame, we might not close below this top trend line, this bottom, sorry, trend line. Okay. We might not close below this yellow trend line that connects those bottoms. And if we do not do that, then probably we are going to find the next resistance around here. Okay. Which might be at around 46,700. Let's see some important resistance levels for Bitcoin. So if I zoom in and draw another Fibonacci retracement from this top to this bottom right here. Okay. We can see that we have some strong resistance levels. And the next one is at around 47,900. We might be going there on around, uh, let's say 25 September. If we go up to the 47,900, we might be getting there by the 25 September, or we might be getting to the 46,700 by 25 September. That's five days from now. Let's see. These are not financial advices. And of course, I am just trying to find major dates that a significant change might happen. And if you remember before on the gun box, we had on 1st October around here, we will have the next major movement. Okay. Whether it will be going upwards or downwards, we will have the next major movement on 1st October. Okay. So let's see if we will go straight down or straight upwards and have a very, very significant swing high. It is around 1st to 3rd October, around at the start of October. Okay, so we might be getting there. For now, on the short term, Bitcoin doesn't look like it wants to have a major crash going down, further down, below the 44,000 Tether USD. Of course, that is if we hold this trend line. On the four-hour frame, we have so many risk metrics into an oversold situation. That's why I do believe we are not holding any significant risk for the Bitcoin 
and therefore we can find some huge buying pressure and go even higher. Now you shouldn't do a sell any of your portfolio. It will be very crucial to have patience and hold your coins. With these movements, many people panic sell without having a reason, okay? Because in the next few days, we might be seeing Bitcoin going up and then you will lose some important money that you should be avoiding, okay, losing. Because eventually we might be getting a further upward situation for Bitcoin and therefore go up and then many altcoins will be tracked, okay? So thank you for watching. Have a fantastic day. Do not forget to join the monthly subscription. I have the link in the description down below. And of course, see you soon with many, many more videos. Bye.